do you want from me, Jack? <laughs> I'm the district attorney. You are the defense attorney. You want to sit down for tea? I'm going to tell you the bigger problem here is that you're defending your daughter and you're not thinking clearly. I'm thinking clearly. I'm mm. seeing clearly. I'm seeing you trying to railroad. Railroad? Yes. Really? You think I would be prosecuting your daughter if I didn't believe that she was guilty? And I know, as a father, that's hard to hear, but I'm going into that courtroom and I'm going to prove it. Uh, Eliza, I got your coffee. Thank you. All right, Cortland, you were standing there long enough to hear Liza say that I'm making this too personal, that I'm risking my daughter by defending her. So what's your opinion? You really want to know what I think? Sure, what the hell? It's not about the law. If we're about statutes and precedents, we wouldn't need juries and judges. Because it's about people. It's about emotions, it's about feelings. Twelve jurors, judge... Attorneys, defendant, and every one of them has got feelings, they've got a history, and it doesn't have a damn thing to do with the law. I couldn't agree with you more. If I was on trial for murder, I'd want my attorney to be as passionate about my going free as I am. Thank you. Hmm. Go get him. Where's Marissa? I need to talk to She's her. She's not here. Why don't you just give her a call? You come from far, aren't you? You're trying to hold on to AJ till the court date. Okay, this is between you and Marissa. You tell her. You tell her that she's not taking my son away, okay? You tell her that. Hey, okay, JR, you just calm down. No, I'm dealing with something huge right now. As soon as it's settled, I will track her down and I will track down my son. When you act like this, I am glad that AJ isn't with you. You're making things worse, JR. I love my son, Crystal. You know that. Yes, I know that. You just have no idea what I'm dealing with right now. They're not sending me away. What do you mean sending you away? What are you talking about? Just tell her that I need to see my son. Please, you tell her that. I don't want you to hurt yourself because of what I have done. What am I supposed to do, Annie? How am I supposed to keep on lying to save what? The company? Or JR? Which one matters more to you? All that matters to me now is that you save yourself. Okay, I know I have lost you. I know I have lost everything that I've ever dreamed of. It wasn't a dream, Annie. It was a nightmare. It was a lie from the no. very beginning. No, that is not true. We were a family, Scott. You, me, and Emma. I know you told yourself that that's what you wanted, and for a while, I even fooled myself into thinking that's what we had. We did. You loved Emma. I still do. I love that little girl. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. So that when she grows up, she understands that we have to pay for our mistakes. I'm sorry. I really did love you. I'd have done anything for you, Annie. And when you were with Adam, God, how I wanted you, I just... And when he left, when he left, I really thought I could have you. How blind was I not to see that you would do the same thing to no. me that you did to him in some messed up way. You and JR, you have always belonged to him. No. Even if that were true, which it is not, you can't destroy yourself because what I what I have done, because of who I am. I'm not trying to destroy myself, Annie. I'm trying to save myself. I stole Palmer's invention because I wanted to prove to you that I could be somebody, somebody worthy of you. And from that moment on, little by little, I began losing myself. I lied to everybody. Worst of all, I lied to myself. Get out. I called in a favor. The guy at the company has dealt with this individual at the FBI. I told him that you had some kind of nervous breakdown. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Wow. You just can't help yourself, can you? You think another lie is going to make all this go away? No, I don't. 
I think what you're doing is crazy. Just listen to him, Scott. We can still save the company. We deal with the personal stuff later. I have dealt with all of this. This family is out of control. I am doing the right thing. It's what my father would have wanted me to do. Really? Yeah. You think Uncle Stewart would want you behind bars? He would have said you got to listen to your conscience, and that's what I'm doing. Your lawyer just called. He's stuck in court, but he should be here shortly. Yeah, forget it. I just want to get this over with. You know, before you make your statement, you are entitled to... I know my rights. No. Yeah. No. Get rid of him, will you? I'm ready to put it in writing. Let's go. Okay. Scott? That was really, really good. Really? Me or the food? Both. Come here, you. <laughs> you know, my other senses are starting to get more and more heightened. Music now sounds fuller, sweeter, and food, food definitely tastes better. I remember back when you were expecting Frankie, you said that food was absolutely amazing. Yeah. The hamburgers. Pizza. Oh, and that velvet cake, that red mm. velvet cake. Ah, mm. oh, boy. You know what? Everything, though, was everything except the, uh, that garlic. Oh, God, I couldn't even stand the smell of it. Bingo. I knew it was garlic. And if you noticed, I prepared you an absolutely garlic-free lunch. Uh-huh. Oh, maybe this is nice. Just the two and a half of us. Two and a half. So what do you think, boy or girl? Well, maybe one of each. Huh? <laughs> Don't panic. I'm just teasing. Oh. <laughs> that just, this better not be work. Hubbard's residence. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, sure, I'll tell her. Okay. What is it? The hospital needs me back? That was your OB's office. It's time to set up an amnio. You don't have children, do you, Cortland? Oh. No, I met Greenlee when she was already grown up. So I feel a constant pressure to make up for... So much. You just have to do your job. You can buy her an ice cream after you win the case. <laughs> Very good. Maybe I will. <laughs> so what were you filing? Well, it looks like I'm getting Cortland Electronics back. You're telling me the Chandlers just gave up? <laughs> Hardly. But after J.R. and Scott are done with each other, it'll kind of be like fish in a barrel. I've asked Erica to help me run it. I think that would make your Uncle Palmer very happy. Are you okay with that? Sure. Congratulations, I'm Cortland. Well, not quite yet, but thank you. Good luck to you. Thanks. Don't worry, I didn't implicate you. I told them I stole the plans all on my own. And nobody else knew where they came from. Why would you protect us? I wasn't protecting you, JR. I was protecting your kids. I don't think AJ or Emma should pay the price for your mistakes or mine. Thank you. But there will be a price. Not just buying bars. Not for you two. Chandler Enterprises will take a huge hit. And you have to live with the guilt of how you destroyed this family. And what a terrible waste you made of something that could have been really pretty amazing. Let's go. Scott. I'm sorry. 
I am so, so sorry. So am I. This way. What the hell are we supposed to do now? Well, I'm gonna call my lawyer. I don't care about your lawyer. My husband was just taken away in handcuffs. Well, your husband made his choice. How can you be so cold? Scott didn't realize the reality of the situation. What's the situation? You and me. He knew he was never gonna win, so he bailed. But that's not gonna stop me. It's not gonna hurt me. I'm gonna save Chandler, and I'm gonna get my son back. And you and I... Hey. Scott's gone, sweetheart. So you don't have any more excuses. 